Agris Wade and welcome everyone to Agris Wade back in garden with me Michelle Junus Wade and welcome to Impromptu Tuesday shout out goes out to the Gro Farm. I would like to encourage you to check out his YouTube channel he's also doing back in garden videos along with adventure videos so go ahead and check it out in this video feature, I'm going to show you how you could actually use excess celery from your backyard garden and excess seasoning pepper from your backyard garden to make your own homemade seasoning sauce. So now let's go ahead and do just that. So in order to make your home seasoning sauce, first thing you'll need to do is harvest your pepper, your seasoning pepper. You could also add sweet pepper if you would like to, but I'll be mainly using seasoning pepper and celery. So these are the two main things I'll be using. First I harvest the seasoning pepper. Now this seasoning pepper is not sweet, neither is it hot. It's right in between, that's why we call it seasoning pepper. It looks like hot pepper from a distance and if you don't know, you'll think it's hot pepper. The celery is pretty easy to grow. I did a video on that before, how to actually harvest or grow in the celery. I actually grew it in a pot before, so you could check that out. I grew it also in a crate, basically what you put the bottles in, you could check that out also. I will put the link below. But this celery that I'm harvesting, I decided to grow them in a raised bed or planter stand. Pretty well, doing pretty well. This is like the third harvest and this is how I harvest it usually. I just do one sweep. I harvest all the celery. I do not usually go and pick some when I need. I usually do a massive harvest and I harvest every single one of them. So now that we've harvested our two main crops, which is the seasoned pepper and the celery, let's now go to the kitchen. So now that we're in the kitchen, obviously you will need a blender because to make that sauce you will need to blend it all together. So you'll need a blender, a powerful blender, even better, the more powerful it is, it's the best. So now I'm adding the water, a cup of water. Sorry, I did not measure it, I'm just using my discretion here and you can do the same. Of course you could see the amount I'll be adding in to actually use your discretion even better. So now I'm adding the seasoning pepper and no, I'm not removing the seeds, everything is going in. Red, yellow, black or white, they are all going in the sauce. That's how it's going to be. So we are putting in every single type of pepper. Again, if you have sweet pepper, add your sweet pepper. Any herbal plants you have, you can go ahead and add it, meaning parsley, celery, thyme, rosemary. <music> And now you can add in some more peppers. Just give it, give it, give it, give it all you've got. So now that you've added in some peppers and you've allowed it to blend, now you can add in your secret recipe. If you don't have any, well, this is my secret recipe. I always, and I always add in some barbecue sauce. I don't know why, but barbecue sauce will give this seasoning recipe a nice flavor. And then you add in some celery. Yes, a lot of celery. Well, with me, I'm adding a lot because I have a lot. It doesn't matter how much, really. If you have a lot, add in a lot. Just don't blow your blender in my account, please. So now that it's done and now that it's all blended all together, you pour it in your favorite bottle. Now, I'll be using another barbecue sauce bottle just because I love to recycle, recycle, recycle. And this is actually a good bottle because even after you pour in the sauce, you could actually use it as it was originally made to be used. Meaning you can just have it in the bottle, put it in your fridge whenever you need, put it in your, with your chicken, put it in your food to cook, whatever it is, just spray it out and it works well. If you have a good blender, it should blend very fine and it's not a problem. The small hole in the bottle should not clog. If it's clogging, pour all that back in the blender and give it another 50 minutes if you have to have blending. Ha! <laughs> I'm just joking. Just blend it as fine as you can. So here you have it, your own homemade seasoning sauce. Thank you very much for liking our video. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for all those of you who have liked our Facebook page. And remember, a backyard garden in some ways will keep doctors away. And Agris Wade is out.